guys. I'm just blowing some bubbles. Look, it's a beautiful sunny day. Today is our last video session. And because it's our last video session, do you know what that means? That means it's almost time for summer. I thought today we would do all the fun things of summer. Do you like to blow bubbles in the summer? I know I do. I wish that you all were with me here and we were blowing bubbles together. We're gonna do a fun bubble art today. Before we do that, I wanna say good morning to each of you. I hope you're all with me today. And let's sit down and we're gonna do a fun seashell game. So come on with me. Put my bubbles down. All right, look what I have here. I have some seashells. Take my glasses off so you can see me. How many seashells, should, seashells do I have? Should we count them together? One, two, three, four, five. Do you see five different colors? Can you name the colors with me? What's this? Blue. What's this? Yellow. What about this one? Green purple, and orange. So I have five different seashells on five different colors. And look what else I have, a little crab. Where do crabs live? Do they live in your backyard? Do they live in your backyard? No, they don't. They live in the ocean. I bet you've seen a crab before if you've been to the ocean. We're gonna take Mr. Crab. He says, hello everybody. And we're gonna hide him under a shell. And I want you to guess which shell he's hiding under. You ready to play? Okay, don't look. Everybody close your eyes. I'm gonna cover this up and I'm going to pick which one he's under. I'm gonna see if you can guess it. All right, here we go. What do you think? Is he under the orange shell? <gasps> no. Is he under the blue shell? He's not. Is he under the yellow shell? No. Is he under the green shell? Oh, there he is. Hi, Mr. Crab. Should we do it again? Okay. Don't peek. Don't peek. All right, here we go. Let's see. Is he under the purple shell? Is he under the green shell? No. <gasps> Wait a minute. I think I see his legs peeking out of the shell. Look at him. <gasps> oh, there's Mr. Crab. There he is. I bet you guys saw his legs too, didn't you? Should we try it again? Okay. Don't peek. Don't peek. Mr. Crab, Mr. Crab, where are you gonna hide? Let's see. Okay, ready? Is he under the blue shell? <gasps> no. Mr. Crab, are you under the yellow shell? No, he's not. What about the green shell? <gasps> no, he's not. Is he under the purple shell? <gasps> there he is. Did you guess the purple one? If you did, that's where he was. Good job, everybody. You guys could take some things from your house. Maybe you have seashells. Maybe you have a collection of seashells from being at the beach. I have a lot of seashells in my house because the ocean is one of my favorite places to go. And whenever I go to the ocean, I come back with seashells. So maybe you could find some seashells and hide something under. You could play a game with maybe one of your brothers or sisters or your mom or your dad. It's kind of fun to do that. All right, we are gonna do a fun art that we do in summertime. And it's called our bubble art. So over here, I'm gonna show you what I've done. Here we go. I have three different colors. I have pink, I have yellow, and I have blue. And in these cups, I have put a little bit of, of Dawn dish soap, about two tablespoons of dish soap, a little, about a tablespoon of water and food coloring or watercolors. You can use paint, 
or food coloring or watercolors. Any of those will work fine. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna mix them all together. I'm gonna take a straw. Maybe some of you have straws at home. Now the key is you cannot swallow this. So moms and dads, if you wanna do this for your kids, you could poke a hole in the straw with a tack and that'll help your child not drink it. But what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna blow bubbles, ready? Whoa, look, even Bailey likes to see it. Look how big it is. Okay, now I'm gonna do it with the yellow one, ready? Okay, now for the blue one. It's kind of messy, so it's nice to do it outside if it's a pretty day. This one's taken a little bit longer, I wonder why. All right, I have an idea with that one. I'm gonna take a thick piece of paper, okay? This is just cardstock paper and I'm gonna put it over the colors like this, and I'm gonna blow. Look at that, look at that. Now I'm gonna try the pink one. I'm gonna put it over here. Look, and it's gonna dry, and when it dries, it's gonna make really pretty colors. Now the other thing you can do is you can get your straw wet, and you can put a little bit on the paper, and you can blow like that. Look at that. <laughs> and you can see how far you can get it to blow. So it'll make more squiggly lines. This way will make circles. But any way you wanna do it is fine. It ends up being colorful and it's fun. Who doesn't wanna blow bubbles in paint? So I thought that would be a fun thing for you guys all to do today. Hopefully you have some dish soap at home you know what you could even use? You could even use blowing bubbles and you could mix coloring with the bubbles. That works too. So I hope that you guys will all give it a try. Today is our last day being with you. And we are so glad that we've been able to join you in your homes with these videos. Mrs. G and I love you so, so much. And it makes us so sad that we're not actually all together. Every time I do these videos and Mrs. G does the videos, we think about you right here with us. You are in our minds all the time. And uh, we just are so glad to be with you. All right, before I say goodbye, we have to read one story. It's called, There Was an Old Lady Who Swallowed a Shell. We've read so many of these this year, haven't we? We've got to read the one that makes us think about this, the, the beach in summer. All right, get comfortable. There was an old lady who swallowed a shell. I don't know why she swallowed the shell. She didn't tell. There was an old lady who swallowed a crab. Why did she grab that crawling crab? She swallowed the crab to live in the shell. I don't know why she swallowed the shell. She didn't tell. There was an old lady who swallowed a fish. What a tickly fish. What a tickly dish, that swimming fish. That is a big fish. How on earth could she fit that in her mouth? She swallowed the fish to catch the crab. She swallowed the crab to live in the shell. I don't know why she swallowed the shell. She didn't tell. There was an old lady who swallowed a gull. That's a seagull. It wasn't dull to swallow a gull. Okay, this is funny. Look how big that seagull is and she is trying to fit it in her mouth. Look at the dog behind her. So silly. She swallowed the gull 
to scoop up the fish. She swallowed the fish to catch the crab. She swallowed the crab to live in the shell. I don't know why she swallowed the shell. She didn't tell. There was an old lady who swallowed a pail. She didn't wail when she swallowed the pail. She swallowed the pail to carry the gull. She swallowed the gull to scoop up the fish. She swallowed the fish to catch the crab. She swallowed the crab to live in the shell. I don't know why she swallowed the shell. She didn't tell. There was an old lady who swallowed some sand. Ugh. Oh, how bland to swallow the sand. That would not taste good to swallow sand. She swallowed the sand to fill up the pail. She swallowed the pail to carry the gull. She swallowed the gull to scoop up the fish. She swallowed the fish to catch the crab. She swallowed the crab to live in the shell, but I don't know why she swallowed the shell. She didn't tell. There was an old lady who swallowed a wave. Swallowing a wave was such a big hassle. Oh, look at that. Do you see that big old wave? Look at all the things that are in the wave. That she suddenly burped. What happened? Oh my goodness. It's all coming out of her mouth. Gross. And built a sand castle. Look what she built with all the things that she swallowed. That is so silly. That silly lady. She swallows all sorts of crazy things, doesn't she? All right. Love you guys.